Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Saturday morning mountain weather update. To radar we go. This is what's left of our uh, our Panhandle hook storm system that rolled right up the eastern plains of Colorado. The low is going to be moving out of Colorado this afternoon, but we're still seeing the wrap around the cyclonic curvature around this area of low pressure, and that's bringing in some bands of snow up and down the front range of Colorado, but also seeing some snow at times over the Continental Divide, up at Arapahoe Basin, Loveland, Winter Park, Eldora, and up to Steamboat. And I'll show you what all these, uh, these places look like. This is Arapahoe Basin. You can see the snow still coming down up there. Uh, looks like a great day. A lot of folks enjoying the new snow and Let's see what it looks like further up the mountain. Yeah, it's pretty shrouded, low visibility up there. Here's the backside through Montezuma Bowl. You can see the snow still coming down out there. Um, just outstanding to see that. Up in Steamboat, they picked up a few inches of new snow, and now you have snow falling right now. You can see that on the, pan the Champagne Powder cams. There's the gondola. Um, they're still waiting to kind of build the base up there for sure. And uh, But it's great to see the snow all the way from uh, the bottom to the top now. Um, there's the, uh, the Thunderhead cam. Uh, Steamboat's a great area. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like specifically in the forecast coming up here in a second. Um, okay, let me just show you what the, the lay of the land is here on the, the water vapor. So the key is the, the moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues, and there's our area of low pressure now up in northeast Colorado, and we're getting that wraparound effect um, with that counterclockwise motion around the area of low pressure, and so that's what's keeping those bands of snow going. Um, then behind it, you've got a front coming in here, a uh, big area of low pressure, potentially even another one behind that. So all of this will play into the extended forecast. In fact, here are my bullet points here for this morning. Um, so we've got our storm system exiting Colorado today, then a cold front 11, 11, and 11, 12, and that will have snow for the Sierra. It'll have snow for the inner mountain west. It'll be a pretty quick shot, but I'll show you what that looks like coming up. And then uh, it looks like kind of a, an extended type storm system for the west coast and eventually the interior and maybe even the southern track on this or 11, 13, 14, 15, and even 16. Um, so here are my latest snow timelines for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, New Mexico, and Tahoe. And you'll notice... For both, uh, well, for the Wasatch, the Tetons, and Colorado, we've got a cold front with moderate to heavy snow there through the Wasatch and the Tetons on 11-12, and then again with that uh, the storm system on 11-16. So some, definitely some similarities with the storm track. Um, Tahoe looking pretty good now, actually. I like how things have turned in your favor. 11-11, the front comes through with moderate to heavy snow accumulations, and then again, some moderate accumulations on 11-15. So... Let me just go back and let's pinpoint Steamboat ski area for a second. Here's the time height forecast for forecast for humidity in the atmosphere. This is a vertical slice through all the layers. The timeline is at the bottom. You can read it from right to left. So the next 72 to 80 hours, roughly, you can see the column of green right now. Basically today through early afternoon, that's when our snow production is going to be the best. That's when we're going to see the best lift across Steamboat. Route County, Rabbit Ears, all into North Park, all those areas. Then it's it's drier and it happens fast. That drier just spills in, um, starting late this afternoon tonight. And Sunday's totally dry and sunny. Monday's totally dry as well. Um, so here's the latest uh, snow forecast. Um, Looking at about four or five inches, maybe four and a half inches at Steamboat, and you're working on that now. And you already had some of that already, um, but. That's what I'm expecting the, today through this afternoon. So you might have another inch or two remaining with this storm system, and then that's probably going to do it. So this was not the biggest snow producer for the northern mountains of Colorado around Steamboat. Um, let me also take a look. I want to also take a look at. Uh, uh, let's go up to. Um, let's go up to Teton Village, in in Wyoming. So this is uh, Teton Village. Um, the uh, mediogram for 70, roughly 7,400 feet up there in Teton Village. So that cold front that comes through, you can see it right here. So Tuesday on the 12th, snow chances all start going up on Tuesday, starting in the morning and continuing in the afternoon. And the snow production would continue all the way through Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, and into Wednesday morning. So um, through this time period, it ends at uh, oh, roughly 11 a.m. You're already picking up about three and a half, four inches, but it's going to be more than that because the snow would continue beyond this forecast. But up until that point, um, today's dry, Sunday's dry, Monday's dry, 
you know, high temps at uh, Teton Village in the low 40s each afternoon. And then it gets colder with that cold front coming and you can see how the temperatures drop and the humidity levels all go up. So uh, that's Teton Village up there in Wyoming. Let me show you what the forecast jet stream looks like. So by close of business today, um, that's going to be your jet forecast. Let me put this into motion. There's Sunday. Now this is 1110. This is 1111. You can see the dip in the jet moving into the Pacific Northwest and even brushing Tahoe in Northern California. That's the cold front. That's what's going to be moving out of the out of the Sierra and into Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, and Colorado through Tuesday, 1112, and then that's out of here. Now here comes that larger trough, 1113 through 1114, 15, and even 16. It goes all the way south through Tahoe and becomes like a southern track storm system. Look how deep that trough is down in the parts of the four corners by 1116, 1117, and even 1118. There's another storm potentially moving into California on 1118 late in the day. All right, let me put some moisture on all of this. So here's the forecast radar and satellite. This is 5.30 this afternoon. The low's moving out of Colorado and weakening. Then we're in for a couple of days of sunshine. And it's pretty quiet until that cold front moves in. So this is 11.11. Um, you've got snow across Shasta, across Tahoe, potentially getting close to Mammoth at the tail end of this thing. But you kind of trace the front all the way north. You can see the, the rain, snow, and the snow moving into Idaho at this point, snowing up in parts of the High Cascades, the volcanoes, into BC. And then that front moves into the interior, and you're looking at snow picking up in intensity on 11, 12 in the morning across the Wasatch, the Tetons, Big Sky, and then eventually that moves into Colorado by 11, 12 in the afternoon. You still have snow back in the Tetons, back in Big Sky and parts of uh, central and northern Idaho. And then that moves away. Now, here comes that larger storm system. And it's it looks to be pretty uh, pretty hefty for a lot of BC and the Pacific Northwest. And it actually goes pretty far south. This is 1114 in the morning. Here's the afternoon. Watch this piece on the southern end. So this is 1115 in the morning. Snow building into uh, Tahoe in northern California and parts of Oregon parts of Oregon, and then that, look at that snow across the Sierra, all the way down to potentially Mammoth, and then that storm system begins to move into the interior, look at that, that snow on 1116, um, brushing parts of the Wasatch, the Tetons, Idaho, Montana, and that kind of moves away, but a piece of it drops all the way down to the four corners, this is that southern track low, and look at that rain snow through the four corners, snow builds into Colorado, here comes the low, moving north out of New Mexico, so snow for Colorado and New Mexico, and then that moves through, and another low sitting out here in California. All right, here's my latest snow forecast. So rest of today through tomorrow, only light additional accumulations in parts of the central and northern mountains of Colorado and across the front range around Denver. Some very light additional accumulations there. All right, here's the second time period. So this accounts for a lot of activity. You've got the cold front, you've got that storm system, and potentially the southern track piece of it. This is 1111 through 1118. Um, so let's start in the Sierra, looking at anywhere from 8 to 14 inches of accumulation from Mammoth North to Tahoe into Shasta, maybe a little bit more in Shasta. Uh, Mount Ashland up there in southern Oregon, about 5 inches. But look, go north, and you're going to see potentially 1 to 2, maybe even 3 feet across the high cascades and the volcanoes. Again, nice storm track for that area. Look at BC. Uh, you could do really well. Anywhere in pink purples over a foot. Uh, Whistler, Baker, all the way through the interior. Um, up towards Revelstoke, we could be looking at a foot or more there and into Red Mountain. Um, down in the central and northern Idaho, looking at 8 to 10, potentially a foot or more around the Tetons and Big Sky, and brought up the numbers for the Wasatch. I think the cold front could squeeze out 6 to 10 inches of snow across the Wasatch. In Colorado, it's from that southern track low that comes in 11, 17, 11, 18, and some decent numbers, three to six across a lot of the mountains of Colorado and potentially more in Southern Colorado and Northern New Mexico. All right, guys, that's, that's gonna do it for this Saturday morning mountain weather update. Enjoy it, have a great day, and I appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.